Welcome back to Solutions for Financial Independence. Joining me now, John Holtman with Beacon Wealth Management. How are you doing, John? I'm doing great, Nikki. How about yourself? Doing really well, thank you. This week we have a question. It's from Denise in Morgantown. She said, what are some of the common pitfalls when it comes to investing for retirement? Oh, that's a good one. Denise, I love that question because, you know, the one thing that I think is really amazing in the United States is right now a lot of people are making fabulous incomes. And everything we do in the United States in terms of education is centered around us learning how to be more productive. The problem is, even though we're making more money, it doesn't necessarily mean we're not making mistakes and that we're being successful. And when I think about problems, a lot of people's problems aren't necessarily just the market. It really boils down to emotions. You know, emotionally, we make bad decisions due to the psychology of investing. So when I think of major problems, a lot of them center around that emotional behavior. So I feel like this is kind of open-ended and there's probably a lot of things that people need to pay closer attention to that might even be small that they're not looking at. Absolutely. One of the things, don't chase the market, whatever you do. You know, I see people do this all the time. The market starts moving up and they have a tendency to want to put all their money into things that's doing well. Then the markets move down and they take money out. So essentially, you've purchased high and then you sold out low. That's a losing formula always. The second thing is, they don't get started early. You know, you're a good example. You're a young lady. Compound interest works in your favor. So the younger you can get started, the more that money has time to snowball. So what I tell a person is, I don't care how much you put away, just get started. Then if you do that, eventually, you're going to be saving a lot. The third thing is, people don't know rules. Tax rules are a big deal because if you don't know the tax rules, you may be making a mistake. And I get it. You're not a financial person or an accountant, so the rules can be a little bit complex. And so what I would suggest to you is if you don't want to take the time to learn the rules, then somehow find somebody that's caring enough that will teach you those rules. So get started, but be careful with it. Absolutely. Those are three simple steps to help you along the way. All right, thank you so much. Folks, if you missed any of that, you can always find it online. Don't go anywhere. Much more for you after the break.